Hey, Matt Man's back. Is it really worth hoarding copper pennies and or nickels? Coinflation.com tells us that it is. Let's look at the pennies. Coinflation tells us that pennies made before 1982 are made of 95% copper and are worth 2.54 cents each. It also shows the price of copper at $3.84 a pound. We can confirm this to be the commodity price by checking on CNBC.com to see that copper is at that same price. Commodity prices are what the manufacturers pay for pure copper to use as raw materials. This is not what we have. We can take this to a broker and have him sell it to a manufacturer. How an ordinary Joe like you and me would do it is we'd take it to a scrapyard, just like any other non-precious metal. So let's check on the iScrap app. The highest scrap value for any kind of copper is number one bare bright copper wire at 314 a pound. It is 70 cents less than the commodity price, but that's not what we have here in our pennies either. Pennies are 95% copper and 5% zinc and that is called brass. Now it's the best brass which is called red brass. So here we see red brass actually goes for two dollars and thirty-one cents a pound. That's the value we're going to use to determine the value of our copper pennies. So let's do the math. The price of red brass is $2.31 a pound. A pound of copper pennies is $1.48. 148 copper pennies to the pound. That's a gain of 83 cents, or 178%. You gotta like that. That still makes copper pennies worth hoarding. So we're gonna give copper pennies a big thumbs up. Now let's look at the nickels. Coinflation.com has the value of the nickels at 100% of face value. Now these coins are 75% copper and 25% nickel and we have already determined that the best copper price at the scrap yard is $3.14 for bare bright wire. So we have already knocked down the percentage tremendously. The nickel price is not on the commodities list, but that doesn't matter because we need to use a scrap price anyway. The iScrap app has only one listing for nickel, and it's a disappointing $1.88 a pound. So we have already pushed the metal value way below the face value, and there's no need to do any more calculations. Hoarding nickels is a bust. Well, that's me throwing in my two cents. Or is it closer to four cents? Some will think it's nonsense. Let me know what you think. Until next time, Matt Man's out. If you're getting any value at all out of this, please subscribe. Hit that like button. Share it with your friends. And hit that notification bell. Thank you very much.